Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2021 BMW 750i xDrive sedan, as well as learn about the features and other 2021 BMW 7 Series configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. After undergoing a significant update in 2020 that included tweaked exterior styling, a refreshed engine lineup, and more in-car tech, the BMW 7 Series continues into 2021 essentially unchanged. The 2021 BMW 7 Series is loaded with all the latest tech BMW has to offer and is impressively spacious and comfortable. Of course, there are alternatives. There's the Audi A8. Mercedes-Benz S-Class and Porsche Panamera from Germany, as well as the Lexus LS500 and Genesis G90 from Japan and South Korea, respectively. Each one represents the best these automakers have to offer, from the latest driver aids and in-car tech to powerful yet fuel-efficient engines. I think the 6th generation 7 series is about as good as it gets and well worth consideration if you're in the market for a big, comfortable, and tech-laden sedan. The 2021 BMW 7 Series is available in five trim levels, 740i, 740i xDrive, 750i xDrive, 745e xDrive i Performance, and M760i xDrive. The major difference between the trims comes down to the powertrain, though some features and options further separate the trim levels. The 2021 BMW 7 Series is available in a variety of trims and configurations. While the base 740i and its turbocharged inline 6 offer good performance and lots of features, I think it's worth stepping up to the V8-powered 750i xDrive for the additional performance and standard all-wheel drive. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 BMW 750i xDrive sedan. Real quick before we actually get into that, check out the features and the gallery and all that. Uh, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links in the description below. Uh, during the intro, I mentioned some vehicles like the Audi A8, the Porsche Panamera, the Mercedes S-Class. Well, I've done build and price reviews of all those vehicles, and I've got links in the description below. In addition, I've done the Lexus LS500, the, uh, the Genesis G90. I've done the BMW M760i, gorgeous car. And I've done the 2020 uh, 750i xDrive. I did last year's BMW 750i xDrive, and I did the 2018. All those links are in the description below. So after you check out this video, please, by all means... Check out a few of those other videos. Okay, let's jump into these configurations, right? The, the, the 2021 BMW 7 Series is available in five trim levels. Here's three of them. The 2021 740i sedan, that's rear-wheel drive, makes 335 horsepower. It's got a 6-liter engine, has a starting MSRP of $86,800. This is the cheapest way into a 7 Series. You can take that 7 Series and add all-wheel drive to it or four-wheel drive. They call BMW calls that X-Drive. All right, and that's going to bump you up another, what, uh, $3,100, right, to $89,800 if you want to get the six-cylinder with all-wheel drive. We're going to build and price the 750i xDrive sedan. That comes with the 4.4-liter V8 that makes 523 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds. And it says it gets, a, uh, I guess, uh, we'll figure out about that fuel economy, that 24 miles a gallon. Maybe that's mixed uh, highway driving. I'm not really sure. But the starting MSRP is $103,000 on this bad boy, so it's not cheap. But there are two other models that I mentioned. I mentioned the 745e. That's this model right here. That's an electric, right? That's got an integrated electric motor, so it's a hybrid, all right? So it starts at $95,900, and it comes standard with xDrive. Then you've got the BMW M. You've got the top M. That's the M760i. <clears throat> That's got 12-cylinder V12, and it makes 600 horsepower. All right, then actually you have also the Alpina B7, Right, so the M760i starts at 157.8. All right, let's throw that in there. And then at the very top of the chain, because these cars are about the same price, they make about the same horsepower, uh, you've got the Alpina B7. And so, as you can see here, the Alpina B7 makes 600 horsepower. It still uses the same 4.4 liter V8 that the 750 uses, 
but it's been massaged by Alpina and it makes more horsepower now. It doesn't make 523. It makes another 77 horsepower, right? And now it makes 600 horsepower. Uh, and it starts at 143,200. Now, I love the 7 Series BMW. I'm I'm the type of guy that I would either want... I think the M760i, the V12, is, is really, really nice. But I think the Alpina B7 is, is really, really, is really, really nice. But it's super expensive. So you got to have another $40,000 burning a hole in your pocket. If you don't have another $140,000 burning a hole in your pocket, but you basically want eight-tenths of an Alpina, then you get the 750i X-Drive sedan. I'm sure you're probably not going to be missing much on that bad boy there. $103,000, like I said. So here's what we're going to do. Before we actually do the building price, let's check out the features. Let's check out the gallery. Let's do all that stuff. Let's actually start with the gallery. So there's the BMW 7 Series sedan gallery. Let's start with the exterior photos. We're just going to go through them. They, they Each one has a little, a little caption, uh, a little sentence, a little paragraph. But we're not really necessarily reading all that stuff because we're going to get into all the features here in just a moment. I really just want to check out the images. 7 Series is a beautiful car. It always has been. I've liked them from back in the day, from like, oh, I don't know, circa 2000 and circa... Always. I've always liked the 7 Series. 7 Series has always been a nice car. Uh, here they're saying the active kidney grill. I will mention that. The active kidney grill, that means these slats open and close. Right, depending on, I guess, the situation. I guess the computer controls all that. Nice wheels. Right, it says it's got adaptive full LED lights. I don't know if those are standard or if we upgrade to that, but we'll find out. Here they're showing the Alpina B7 uh, with the 600 horsepower 4.4 liter V8 under the hood. There's another side shot of it. The Alpina is absolutely gorgeous. I'm surprised, as much as I love the Alpina, that I have not done the build and price of the Alpina. I will have to actually do that. But today, we're going to focus on the 750, because I think the 750 is a lot of car, and you're getting most of what the Alpina is, basically. Uh, and you're going to save yourself about 40 grand, all right? Because here's, here's a 7 Series in the background with an M Sport package, and it looks quite nice. Quite nice. Here they're showing the uh, trapezoidal exhaust finishes. And the LED taillights and the light band. The LED taillights look like a hockey stick. And then you got the LED band that goes right underneath the trunk lid there. Uh, okay, and now we have interior. Here they're showing, obviously, the optional. Yeah, the available rear seat entertainment system. Yeah, if, you, if you're if you into all that, I'm not. I don't want the rear seat. Enter I think it's gorgeous and nice and everything. I have no desire for it. Uh, I do love the seats. I love the the, the leather and the and the stitching on the seats and the and the um, armrests and all that. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It feels very high-end in this car. Looks very high-end. Even in white. Here they're showing an Alpina uh, and with white leather interior. That's a BMW individual, it said if, back there. If you're not sure what BMW individual is, I actually did a video on what BMW individual is, and I'll put that link in the description below, as well as a link to my BMW playlist where I've got about, oh, I don't know, about 48 videos of BMWs. Interior is really nice, right? They, like I said, they made a uh, redesign in 2020, so they didn't, they're not doing much for this year. Here they're showing the uh, digital instrument cluster, right? Obviously, you can see it's all digital, and it is nice. However, however, as much as I love BMW, uh, it's no Audi uh, um, uh, virtual cockpit, right? The Audi makes a beautiful virtual cockpit. If you want to see what that looks like, check out that video I did on the 2019 Audi A8L. The L means long wheelbase. Uh, so you'll see the virtual cockpit in that. Although this, this is nice. It's nice. There's nothing wrong with it. But again, it's no virtual cockpit. Here they're showing your your drive, your your uh, automatic shifter. I can see your sport, uh, your shift buttons where you can select the transmission, sport, comfort, and eco pro. And all of that looks very cool. They're telling you about the available massage seats. And look at the ambient lighting. Here they're showing it in the Alpina. And the available Bowers and Wilkins sound system. And here's the iDrive 7.0. Right, That's the latest, greatest in uh, BMW iDrive infotainment technology. 
Okay, so we went through all of the gallery images for the exterior and the interior. Now let's check out the, uh, the exterior colors for the 2021 BMW 750i xDrive. This color here is Bernina Gray, I think. Uh, Aventurin Red, I probably butchered that, but whatever. Uh, Tanzanite Blue 2, metallic. Uh, Dravit Gray, none of these colors are really striking me. You got the Mineral White... You got the dark graphite metallic. I've always liked I've always liked BMW's white colors. Uh, the cashmere silver metallic you got there. Here's the jet black. That's nice. I don't feel like keeping a car of this size in jet black, sparkling clean all the time. It's a lot of work if you're going to do it right. Uh, here's black sapphire metallic, and then you've got the of course alpine white. Here are some quick specs on horsepower in zero to sixty times. So the 740. Uh, X drive is actually pretty quick. It does zero to 60. It has 335 horsepower, does zero to 60 in 4.8 seconds. Uh, our 750i X drive, which we're going to be building on the channel today, 523 horse, zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds. This car is seriously quick. That's what I'm saying. The Alpina is nice, but how much faster is the Alpina? Let's jump over to that right now. So the 750i X drive is 3.9. The Alpina is 3.5. Okay, you're talking four tenths of a second. So I guess for every tenth of a second, you're paying $10,000 because it's about $40,000 price difference, right? You got the electrified version that can rip 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds with 389 horse. And the uh, M760i, is it a little bit slower? Yeah, well, it's a little bit, it's just a little bit faster, just a little bit faster than the um, than the 750. And yeah, it's expensive as well. So this the V12 does it in 3.6 seconds. So, you know, at the end of the day, the 750i is that's sporty. I mean, if you if you if you can pop the hundred thousand, that's the whole deal. It's a hundred thousand dollar car, right? Now, if you can't get into the hundred thousand uh, dollars 750, but you want the V8, then you bump down to the M550i. I did do the build and price review on that as well, and like I said, I put the link to the BMW playlist in the description below, so you can get to that video through that playlist. So. That's also an awesome car. If you want a V8, but you can't afford the $103,000 of the 7 Series, bump down to the 5 Series. All right, let's see about some of these things they're going to tell us about the features. So a passionate exterior uh, that's created to showcase in elegant details, precise lines, and a dramatic exterior. Uh, they say the 7 pushes the limits of the design. Uh, it's got that large kidney grill, right? That's this grill right here. That is a large kidney grill. Impressive bumpers and standard adaptive LED lights. Remember, I was just saying, I don't know if that was standard or not, but the adaptive LED lights are standard. Here they're showing the rear end, and they're just really talking about the bold design, slim silhouette, etc., etc. All right, let's find out about the advanced technology, intuitive and intelligent systems. Uh, let's find out about it. It is gorgeous in there, though, isn't it? This is the BMW Intelligent Personal Assistant. So you could say stuff like, find a coffee shop, I'm tired, how's my tire pressure? Uh, here's that live cockpit professional, and we were just talking about this. It's no virtual cockpit like Audi's, but it's still nice. I'm not turning it down, okay? Uh, it's got the digital instrument cluster, shows music, directions, more. Uh, so that's all cool there. Then you got the backup assistant. This includes a backup assistant exclusively from BMW. It records your recent maneuvers. So if you feel feeling stuck in a tight spot, your BMW can back you out automatically. Wow. Okay then. <laughs> uh, then you got the drive recorder, and this thing can start recording for up to 40 seconds. And so yeah, there's that. And then you got the active drive assistant. And what does this do? It has. Um, Daytime pedestrian protection, frontal collision warning, city uh, collision mitigation, active blind spot detection, lane departure warning, and more. That's the active driving assist. And they say that's, um, that's standard stuff. This is all standard stuff in the 7 Series. All right, then. All right, let's find out about the luxurious cockpit, right? An extraordinary sedan. What are they showing here? Oh, this is the available panoramic sky lounge. It's the roof, the panoramic roof. But it can have it has ambient lighting, right, that can change color, obviously, as you can see here, and all that. How much that is, I don't know. Are we getting it? 
I doubt it. Unless they got it bundled in something that I want something else. You, you get it. You know how they do it. Uh, the lavish lounge here. They're just talking about the rear seat uh, entertainment system. We kind of already saw that. That includes rear heated armrests, massaging seats, a suite of deluxe options, and all that. Here they're talking about the uh, BMW individual. If you want a higher grade of a leather and wood and stuff like that. Like I said, BMW individual. There's a link to that video in the description below if you want to know about what BMW individual is, what it stands for. Okay, so we went over that overview information. Let's dig down a little bit deeper, see what else they want to tell us about the 750i. Uh, the definition of style here, they're only talking about that available rear seat entertainment system again. Here's a little more information. They're talking about the 4.4 liter V8 engine, uh, 523 horse, 0 to 63.9 seconds, available M Sport package, which makes it look even more sumptuous and sporty. We're all over the M Sport package. I love that. Uh, gives you optional wheels, trims, aerodynamic kit, all that kind of stuff there. So it's going to make it look very much like an M760i, really, at the end of the day. Uh, you got that standard parking assist plus, uh, standard surround view camera with 3D view and active park distance control sensors. You got the standard multi-contour seats, that standard 20-way power multi-contour front seats, which now feature heated armrests and steering wheel for extra comfort. That's cool. Okay, let's find out a little bit more about the features and specs on our 750i X-Drive sedan, and then we'll do our build and price. All right, so here we can just kind of go over quickly some of the standard features. Uh, they've got them in categories like drive, appearance, right, exterior and interior. So under performance, for instance, you know, we've got stuff like they're highlighting the 4.4 liter engine, that active kidney grill that I was talking about. You've got sport mode. You've got driving modes, comfort, comfort plus, sport, stuff like that. You've got an eight-speed automatic transmission. Under handling, ride, and braking, and do note, I'm not trying to, I'm not necessarily trying to highlight every one of these. So my eyes are just going to what pulls me. You got the all-wheel drive system standard on the 750. You got a self-leveling air suspension. Uh, you've got dynamic stability control, brake fade compensation. You got a lot of, you got a lot of standard safety equipment going on in there you got dynamic damper control uh you got power steering assist uh four-wheel ventilated disc brakes things like that for the exterior i guess you got standard 19 inch wheels power folding heated side mirrors right interior and trim uh standard napa leather upholstery that's good to know uh you get floor mats that's nice to know for 103,000. that's the least you could do uh, for connectivity, you got the BMW Connected Drive Services, so that's like their app. Lock and unlock your doors, say hey BMW, personal assistant, all that. Apple CarPlay compatibility. You got a Wi-Fi hotspot, but they're giving you a they're giving you a trial version of that. Uh, you got USB connections and all of that stuff there. Under audio system, we got the what the Harman Kardon audio system, 16 speaker, 464 watt. Right, Sirius XM satellite radio with a one-year subscription they give you. They throw that at you. HD radio, anti-theft, AM, FM stereo. So under instrumentation and control, so you got that live cockpit professional. We already talked about that. You get the gesture control. Uh, you get that drive recorder. You get dynamic cruise control, tire pressure monitor. That's all cool. What's under comfort and convenience? A heated front seats, armrests, and steering wheel, engine stop start, remote engine start, comfort access keyless entry. We know about the 20 way seats, rear window sunshade, soft close automatic doors, four zone climate control, get a panoramic roof, LED light carpet, extended ambient lighting, right? Dual illuminated vanity mirrors, right? Everything looks good. Locking glove box, wireless charging, two USB ports. Everything looks good. A lot of standard features. Then we got safety and security. So we got adaptive brake lights, uh, three-point safety belts, front and rear head protection system, active front headrest. We got the BMW protect protection system, which detects imminent accidents and prepares the vehicle for 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 collision. Sounds like uh, Mercedes pre-safe, actually, because Mercedes pre-safe is the same thing. You got the latch thing for uh, car seats and all that. Automatic locking retractors, parking assistant, 
uh, programmable LED uh, headlights. You got an alarm system, uh, coated driveway protection, uh, rear view camera, uh, pathway light. And then you got your standard warranty stuff here. Four-year unlimited mileage roadside assistance. Uh, Four-year 50,000-mile new, new vehicle warranty. And a 12-year uh, warranty on rust. Okay, so you know what? We've gone through everything. We've gone through everything we need to know and everything that BMW is going to tell us about the new 7 Series <clears throat> and specifically the 750i X-Drive for 2021. So nothing left to do besides build it. So let's go ahead and click this design tab and get to doing that. Okay, first things first, we need to select the design. Oh, I guess we can do a little virtual uh, spin around of the exterior. So that's cool. Look at that. There's your base 750 in, a, in, in white. Uh, now here's with with it, here's it with the uh, M Sport package. You can tell by the wheels and all. No, it's the luxury. And let's check it out with the M Sport package. What does it look like with the M Sport? And there it is with the M Sport. It's very subtle, but it's more in the front end. You can tell the front end is definitely got more sport going on. And they have chrome like around the windows on the luxury trim. So check out the luxury trim again. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, the front end changes a lot on the luxury trim. All right, let's do the. Let's do the M Sport. All right, that's a $3,000 upgrade, but the M Sport looks right. Okay, so now we're at $106,000. Let's go to color. I already said I wasn't crazy about any of the colors, quite honestly. Your two standard colors, meaning no cost option, Alpine White, Jet Black. I'm fine with Alpine White. That works. That works. I guess all the colors, except for the Tanzanite Blue and that, uh, that red metallic, they're basically a $2,000 option. You're not going to see many of those running around on the street. Uh, okay, so Alpine White it is. Next, we've got wheels. Uh, the standard wheel, I guess we can't get a 20-inch. Yeah, here, yeah, I guess we can't get a 20-inch wheel. They've got 20-inch wheels. Uh, I think I like. I think I like these. I'm going to jump right to these bad boys. These are the 20-inch BMW individual V-spoke bicolor wheel style 649i. They're $1,300. What you got to remove the. Uh, the M Sport package? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's go. Let's go back to build. Let's go back to build. So we're not going to get those wheels. Those wheels are hot, but they're individual wheels. How about these with the performance run flats? What do those look like? Uh, oh, everybody wants to remove the the M Sport. How about this? How about this? We're just going to leave it, and we're not going to do a, a wheel upgrade because I don't want to remove the M Sport package. And it seems like everybody's going to want to do that. That's why those eyes, because there's a, con a conflict there. I guess the best I can do is maybe this 19 double spoke with an all season. What does that look like? I guess that is it. I guess that is it. Okay. I guess that is it. Never mind. They are the 19 inch wheels. All right. Moving on then. That took longer than I thought. Uh, the black leather Napa leather works for me. The black Nav uh, black leather works for me. I do love that cognac with the extended quilting. Doesn't seem like you can get the quilting with anything else. Let's see what that Fiona Red looks like. Ah, it's probably going to want to change something. Let's see what the Fiona Red looks like. Uh, okay, yeah. All right, fine. They just want to remove the black Napa. Confirmed. Maybe we'll do the red. Let's do the Fiona Red. Let's see what it looks like here. Their Lonar 360 interior. And now we can have a look around. I think white with the red. I think that would just look... Kind of interesting. Maybe kind of interesting. You might not like it. I might not like it. But we're going to build it today. All right. We're sitting at $110,000. Let's move on to trim. Uh, it would be nice if they had a carbon fiber. But they don't have a carbon fiber. Uh, I think I want the, the fine line black wood. I want something dark, I think. Uh, so that's going to work for me there. It's a no cost option because nothing changed. I don't even see anything changed here. Uh, so we'll move on now to options. And what do we have for options here? The auto bond package. I don't think we need an auto bond package. The driver assist professional package. Let's just look at these packages first. Uh, the interior design package, rear seat package. They've got standalone options down here. Remote control. Uh, nothing's really jumping out at me. The headliners, shadow line trim, in performance brakes with the blue calipers. <clears throat> I like that. Let's go ahead and do that. That looks fun. Uh, I do want the Bowers and Wilkins sound system. 
Uh, the rest of the stuff they can probably keep, honestly. The front and rear heated seats. <clears throat> I'm not really worried about that. Because uh, I really don't want to change any packages. I don't know what that's going to want to change. Uh, what does the executive package entail? What does the executive package entail? Hold on a second. Back to build. Back to build. What does it entail? Hang on. Let me see if I can get to the details. Well, that took long enough. Third time's a charm, I guess. You get the ceramic controls. It does give you that panoramic sky lounge, I guess. The ventilated front seats. Uh, power rear sunshade and rear side window shades. Front, mas front massaging seats. Leather dashboard. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, confirm those changes. We're there on the executive package. I think we're good on packages. We don't need that. I don't. Know, let, let's see what the Autobahn package is. I don't think we need that. Active comfort drive with road preview and integral active steering. That looks like rear steering. We don't need any of that. We don't need any of that at all. Let's move on. Where are we at? We're at the summary. Wow, what was that all about? We're at the summary here. And it looks like we're at 117950 117,950 to have a 2021 BMW 750i X-Drive sedan with an M Sport package and red leather interior. I love it. I love this car. I take that home right now. All right. So there it is. I guess we just did the build and price review of a 2021 750i X-Drive sedan. If you found this review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the very next.